Hi, my dear yogi friends. Welcome back to today's uh, yoga flow with Vivi. Um, today, I'm I'm bringing you a yoga flow that is targeting our feet and our ankles and also a little bit of our calves because in our day-to-day -day activities and life we most of the time we just flex our ankles we never stretch it so the ankles um so with time with with long time being uh not stretching it it will bring still stillness and the stiffness to the joints and the muscles around that area and uh, feet are probably one of the most important parts of our body because it holds our weight every day and it takes up us everywhere we want to go so i just think that a little care and a little um, caring flow loving flow to our beloved feet and ankles are needed okay so with that being said let's um start right way into a downward facing dog with knees bent feet hip width uh, hip distance apart and keep the knees bent a little and press yourself press the hips up Flex the toes, stretch out the entire soles of the feet. Keep the shoulders slight. Don't put all the weights on the shoulders and the hands. Just imagine yourself being lifted up through the hip points and feel the extension and the stretch of the soles of both feet. Take two deep breaths here. Suck your belly in. And release. Press your heels down to the floor and come into a normal standard downward facing dog. And let's work out our dogs by bending one knee at a time. Let's bend our right knee and stretch out the entire hamstring of the left side. Stay here for three breaths. And switch side. Press down the right heel and lift the left. Flex the left toes and stretch the right hamstring. Two more rounds of breaths and release. Now let's uh, work in a dynamic motion at your own pace. Keep the keep the breath flowing with the di uh, with the movement. When you are ready, let's slowly walk towards the top of our mat. Keep the feet a little shorter than hip, uh, hip waist distance and slowly round yourself up to mountain pose. And here, let me face to the camera so you can see me clearly. And um, here, let's um, do three rounds of uh, uh, mountain pose. Uh, when you take the inhale, you go on top of your, uh, your toes and stretch the soles. And when you, when you exhale, you release totally. And let's still do three rounds like this. Inhale, arms up, heels up. Keep the balance here. Hold the rest here. Stay here for two rounds of breath. Keep the balance. Feel the stretch of the soles and the ankles. And release, heels down. Two more time at your own pace. Inhale up, stay here, three rounds of breath. Exhale, 
exhale down again inhale if you fall off you come back in exhale down now let's put our uh, widen our feet to a bit wider of the hip distance uh, uh, hip distance width and let's squat down in malasana with the hands in front of the feet close to the feet in your elbows inside of your knees and your knees wide open sit bone pointing down to the floor and sit up and tall feel the weight equally on the four corners of your uh, both feet you can rock um, front and back just to feel your weights on the feet and now from here let's let's do let's put our hand left hand first let's lift our left heel and press our left hand beneath the left sole palm facing down and place uh, and press down the left heel and lift the right and place the right hand beneath the right sole and slowly let's press down our uh, both heels into the ground and lift up through the chest breathe here you can feel that your soles are being are being stretched from the middle keep a little swing from front to back just feel the toes and the heels and the soles now let's slowly release take the hands out and let's sit back onto our hips now let's come into a staff pose extend extend your legs in front of uh, in front of you sit up and tall place both hands on the, on the both sides of the hips and lift up through your chest and now let's um, keep the feet a little bit uh, away from each other and uh, let's uh, point the left foot and flex the right okay and keep keep them like this for one breath and then switch side now switch one breath here point to the right flex the left and switch and let's do it four rounds okay on both sides four more rounds three two one last one okay all right now let's um just uh, um, circle the right foot uh, clockwise for four rounds and counterclockwise uh, counterclockwise for another four rounds and then switch to the left foot let's uh, do it at your own pace don't forget about the breath four rounds on the right foot clockwise and counterclockwise another four rounds just to 
mobilize the ankle, the joints around the ankle. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Change direction. Okay, all right, come back to center. And now let's uh, bend the right knee and place the right foot a little uh, above the kneecap. Rest the right foot on top of the lower side and hold the right foot with your left hand and place your right hand on top of your right knee and try to press down the knee towards the ground. And don't round your back. Keep your back up and chest up. Don't slouch. And press it down and take it up. Press it down and take it up. Your left hand can be gently touching your right foot, the right sole. When you press down the knees to the ground, you feel um, the extent, you feel the uh, stretch on the right ankle. Now let's slowly change to the other side. Place the right foot on top of your uh, lower right knee, right side. Knees open. Hand gently touching the sole and press it down on the left side. And bring it up, press it down, bring it up, press it down. Three more times. Last time, let's release and let's uh, put the feet, the soles of the feet together to meet each other and the big toes are touching each other. Okay, and place the hands behind, uh, behind us, behind the hips and lift the chest up to the sky and uh, stay here in this bound angle pose. If you feel, uh, if you feel like it, you can um, by you can do by rocking the knees up and down like this, like a butterfly. This is a great way to mobilize the hips and uh, to open up the hips. Come back to stillness and now let's um, transition our body into a toe squat. Okay, you can, you can do it like this by pressing yourself up, forward, coming into a squat and then come to bend your, um, bend your, uh, bend on your toes extend your soles and lift yourself up using the assistance of your hands if you may if you feel like more confident uh, make sure that your hips are sitting on top of your heels and your heels are lifted off the floor and uh, with the assistance of your hands if you feel like more confident by lifting your chest up and place the hands on top of the knees Eyes at one uh, point, uh, dress the point, keep the balance, keep the focus, feel the extension of the soles. Three more rounds of breath here.
release by going forward into a um, tabletop pose. In this tabletop pose, let's stay here uh, in stillness for four rounds of breath, but make sure that you press firmly down the back of your feet to the ground. Feel the stretch of the uh, of the uh, um, the back of your of your foot feet on the ground. Stay here for four rounds of breath. Belly in. Shoulders away from the ears, back of the feet press down into the ground, feel the stretch. Now from here, let's tuck our toes and slowly shift the body backwards and come into a child's pose, but with the toes tucked. Arms extended out in front of you. In this pose, it's an active child's pose. You actually feel, still feel the stretch of your ankles and your soles and your toes, even your calves. And slowly, Reach your hands towards your feet, towards the heels, and hold your heels with both hands. And slowly lift yourself by, round, by rounding your upper body. And lift to an extent that you, you, uh, you still keep the upper body round and your upper back extended. Just stay here for three rounds of breath. You feel your entire soul ex is extended and stretched out. And slowly come onto a tall, a tall, um, kneeling on your toes. Sit on top of your heels and uh, upper body up and tall. I know this is a little bit a lot on your sole, on your toes, but just keep the stretch two more rounds of breath. Release by going into a child's pose, but with the toes untucked. Let's relax here for three rounds of breath to connect with our breath and with our body. Here, lift your body up and go into a kneeling position, Rajasana. Sit in this kneeling pose. Sit up and tall and let's do three rounds of seated, kneeling, seated on cat and cow pose here. Inhale, chest up to the sky, throat open. So long your upper body, tuck your belly in and tuck your chin into the chest. Exhale here, inhale up, slightly back bend, and exhale round. 
One last time. Inhale. Exhale. Let's inhale. Lift up our arms. Exhale. Twist to the right. Your left hand on top of your right knee and your right hand behind you. You can look back or you can look just the right side of the room. Inhale, strength, inhale, straighten, exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center, arms up, exhale, twist to the other side. Every exhale, you can, you feel like you can twist a little bit more. Inhale, back to center, exhale, hands down. And now, um, let's try something quite interesting. Um, okay, so take a big breath in and come into a child's pose. Exhale here. Inhale, round your body and come onto all fours. And exhale. Coming back to child's pose. Inhale up, round your body. Exhale, coming back to child's pose once again. And inhale. Here, listen carefully. From here, place your right foot over your left sole, like folding on each other. Exhale, coming back to child's pose with the right foot over the left sole. And stay here. Two rounds of breaths. Slowly place your hands next to your knees. Take a big breath in and slowly lift yourself. First your forehead and your shoulders and your chest. And come on to sit. On this kneeling pose, Vidrasana, but with the right foot on top of your left sole. It is a uh, stronger and deeper stretch on the, on the right ankle and the left sole. If you can't do it, if it's too much, then just release and come back to a normal kneeling position or just come to a child's pose. And uh, stay here. Three rounds of breaths, just to feel the stretch of the right ankle and the left sole, and even a little bit right shin. Slowly, let's place ourselves back into a child's pose position. And big inhale, round your body up into all fours and release the foot back to normal. And exhale, come back into child's pose. Inhale, round up. Exhale down two more times like this at your own pace. Inhale, round up. Last time, inhale and exhale. Inhale, up and now let's place the left foot onto the, over the la, uh, right sole. Fold them over and exhale, come onto a child's pose. Stay 
slowly place the hands on uh, next to the knees and press yourself up gently. If you feel uncomfortable, actually, my uh, this side is a little bit more tight than the other side for me. So you can keep your knees a slightly wider. This way, it can release some of the tensions on the soles. Okay. One side is always tighter and more stiff than the other side. Two rounds of breaths here. Slowly release, come on to a child's pose. Inhale, come on to all fours, release the foot. And once again, let's come into a child's pose. Take a big inhale, place the hands down the, uh, next to the knees, press yourself up and listen carefully here. Place the hands a little behind of your uh, hips and let's come, uh, let's uh, recline a little bit and lift off your knees of the floor, lift your knees of the floor and coming to this pose which is called a ankle stretch pose. You feel the extension of the ankles. If you cannot do it, if it's too much stress on your knees or on your ankles, just release and come back into a normal kneeling position. Otherwise, just stay here for another two rounds of breath. Come back to center. And now let's come back to a downward facing dog with knees bent, like how we started. But you'll feel uh, much, um, uh, you'll feel a difference in your feet and your ankles, and hopefully it's a release. Lift your hips up to the sky and keep the knees bent. Heels of the floor. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Heels down to the floor. And come into a normal downward facing dog. Slowly walk to the top of your mat. Sit down to the mat and Let's just do a round of uh, uh, counter relaxing pose. Uh, we uh, seated windshield wiper pose. Place the hands behind your hips just to assist your body up. And uh, your feet are mat with distance apart. And uh, inhale, exhale, place the both knees on the left side. Inhale back to center, exhale, change sides. And uh, just keep doing it at your own pace. This is a very relaxing counter pose to all the poses we did before in this flow. And back to center. And let's do one last time a seated bound angle pose to close off our practice today. Sit up and tall, hands behind your hips and soles of the feet together, big toe meeting each other. And knees wide open.
a little rock on the knees. Now let's come into a normal seated position. Take a big breath in, arms up. Hands together at heart center, exhale. Namaste. Thank you very much for um, come being with me at today's flow and i hope this uh short flow short sweet flow uh somehow kind of bring sweetness and uh some stretch some uh, release on relief on your ankles and the feet um these babies are carrying us every day so we have to take good care of them time to time and uh yeah so I hope to see you soon in the next episode and if you like my flows, uh, just click the subscribe button and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.